This used to be a fan motor, a single face brush DC fan motor from vehicle. I don't know which of the vehicle brand. So I pick it up from a scrap market and uh, remove the winding, remove the commutator and I rewind it to three face because I want to make it a, a brushless DC motor or a brushless permanent magnet alternator. So I rewind it like this. The starter are 25 in total. So you follow the winding like that. I made three face out of it. And I put this this shaft. This shaft is from uh, hoverboard. In short, I'm going to use hoverboard casing for this. Meanwhile, I'm still going to use the mag uh, magnetic arrangement that follows the the starter. The starter used to be uh, magnets, and this used to be the rotor. Now this is going to be the starter, and the magnet is going to be the rotor. Meanwhile, I'm going to add. I'm going to insert the magnet casing into a hoverboard casing, so that. I'll have a, an outer runner with three face, three face, no sense, no hole sensor, just like that. I'll fix it and uh, run it with 12 volts. I can also run it with uh, 24 volts, 36 volts. The more volts, the more the speed and the more the power. But 12 volts from this arrangement will run it up to 2000, 2000 RPM. Mm. Originally, the DC motor used to be around uh, 2000 to 3000 RPM. Mm. This is a, a casing, an outer runner from a hoverboard. You recognize it as a hoverboard uh, uh, part. This is the wheel side. This is the internal, the inside. I removed the magnet and I inserted another type of magnet that follow uh, a vehicle uh, radiator fan motor come. This magnet, there are three blocks. One, two, three. Meanwhile, each of the block has north and south. So there are six north, south, north, south, north, south. So there are three poles here now to match with the, with the configuration of that winding, that new winding that I put. So now this is going to be my rotor for that motor now. And the coil will be the starter. So will enter this house in and I'll fix it and run it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>